Hello. I'm recording this on my new MacBook. Yeah. I have the um the new 16 inch MacBook Pro that came out like two weeks ago or so. I got pretty lucky. I got into Best Buy and they had a few there because you know normally you have to order and wait on it to come in the mail when something's so new. But that is not why I am here today. I want to educate you guys on something that you may not be aware of. There is a issue in um, the United States where insulin, they are actually price gouging insulin. So a bottle of insulin only costs about $8 to manufacture and the pharmaceutical companies are selling it for 300 plus per bottle. And most insulins need, most diabetics need about um, two to three bottles per month. So if you do the math, you can see it adds up pretty quickly. Now, insurance does come into play, but everyone doesn't have access to insurance. Everyone doesn't have access to good insurance where they may not have to pay as much. So some people, even though they have insurance, their deductible is still high where they're still paying a, a high amount um, per bottle regardless. But the issue at hand is that there's no need for this price to be so high in the first place. But I'll use myself, for example, like a 90 day supply of insulin for me is around twenty nine hundred dollars. That's what it shows on my slip when I get my refills. And so I only pay a small copay due to the employer I have and the insurance that I have. But if it wasn't for that, that's twenty nine hundred every three months. And I mean, I have a, a large family. We're a family of five. So it's me, my husband, three kids, 2,900 every three months just for me insulin would be a lot to bear. So um, there are people that don't have access to the insulin. For example, there are two sisters, both were black. Um, one, uh, she had insurance, the other one did not. They both were diabetics. So one of them would go and borrow insurance from her sister. I'm not buy her, buy her insulin. She would share. They were trying to share insulin. And one of the one that did not have insurance, I think she got tired of probably having an ax and having to share. And she just went without sometimes. She would just let her sugar be high and be like, whatever, I'll, you know, I'll just try to make it. Well, they found her in her house um, in a diabetic coma and she passed away. So the diabetes is when the sugar, when you eat, everyone eats, the, any kind of carbs, sugars in your meal, it's going to be in your blood. It raises the blood levels up. And when those blood levels go up, which is the blood sugar, it, the blood, your blood becomes acidic. Your blood in your body becomes like acid. That's what happens when your blood sugar is high. And so if you, um, I know you're probably like, well, what can I do about this? Well, you can always go on the American Diabetes page and register as a diabetes advocate. And they will email you different templates that you can email to Congress. Because this is an ongoing battle of making insulin affordable for all. all right? Insulin needs to be available for all. And all insulins are not the same. There's some kind of uh, insulin type that Walmart will sell for $25 is called a human insulin. It's not the regular one that I'm talking about the pharmaceutical companies have. The one from Walmart, you can take it and take a whole ton of it and it doesn't bring your numbers down. So you're still walking around with your numbers high, which is danger to all your organs, to your lifespan. All right, guys, so if you know someone is diabetic, check on them, be kind. If you don't know someone is diabetic, you just need to be kind regardless because you never know what battle anybody's fighting, okay? All right, y'all be blessed.